Hey there people and welcome on this channel Swiss RC World and today we're gonna make a new video and I'm gonna show you how you can balance uh, your props properly. Uh, these 10 by 4.5 carbon reinforced props I use for my quadcopter and I like to fly FPV so uh, vibrations are not a friend of mine so I bought this um, ultra ultra exact um, bal prop balancer from Hobby King costs about $16 something and it is magnetic right here one magnetic and if you have um, bigger props you could put some bearings up there some somehow I don't need that so I'm just gonna use the magnetic one then we're gonna just put our prop on there screw the holder in and what you're gonna need um, to balance it is some tape I just use the fiber tape then some hot glue and yeah that's pretty much it it's just um, the balancer and your props and also uh, this balancer has a um, a thing that shows you if your balancer is laying straight that's really nice so this prop falls a little bit on on the left side from my view so I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and cu cut a little strip off like so and I'm just gonna put that on the leading edge of my prop That looks pretty nice, I believe. Yeah, not too bad. And uh, you're not finished now because you're also gonna measure it the other side around. And as you can see, it falls. And um, this side falls too. So what this means is this um, section of the prop is too heavy. So this one is heavier than uh, the other side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it around, take our hot glue gun and apply some hot glue on here. Just like that. Don't glue it onto uh, your prop holder because that would make this one unbalanced. Now we're gonna test it again and it's still falling on the other side. This side does not fall so this means that we're gonna have to remove our tape. And we're gonna put it back on this side falls. This side does it does it too. And here it should be balanced quite well. Yes, it is. So uh, still, this side is just um, lighter than the other side. So I'm gonna apply some more hot glue on here. Now you're gonna be patient when you're uh, balancing your props because it is important and it it makes a difference if you do it one minute or if you take your time and do it right. So try it again. That looks good. And we're gonna test the other side. and now we're done. What you could also do if you don't want to apply glue you could sand or scrape off this side. And another thing I want to tell you um, these props which are the Genfan 1045 props and they are composite and they are reinforced with carbon as you can see they are really strong. I used them on my quad because I couldn't find any um, Grobner e electric props 
and these are cheaper. You get uh, two clockwise, two counterclockwise for about twelve euros, I think. So you're gonna you're gonna get them in Germany. The shop is named Flyduina. The script, um, the link's gonna be right here. And um, these props work really awesome. I think they are nearly. They could be as as good as the Grobner E props and. It's not a big difference between those and the Grotner props, but in the price there is a big difference. So, if you're a beginner, go with these. If you crash a lot, and if you want just for, I don't know what reason, get the Grotner props, but only when you're better in the hobby. So, just wanted to say that. Also, they come with a whole set of spacers, which is really nice, and they, uh, they work fine, so... I'd like to thank you for watching, leave a like rating, comment your questions down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, so bye guys.